all right welcome back another project getting this thing dialed in so today what we're going to be doing is figuring out i got a uh some new audio stuff i went with the scar audio um, just to replace some speakers add some in the cabin and make this boat sound a little bit better so i got awesome reviews on the scar stuff a couple of my buddies got it and i read some stuff so and it's a lot cheaper than uh jail that I've used in the past so anyway I got some six and a halfs for the cabin um, I got some eights that I'm gonna be placing these stock six and a halfs with and then I went with a thousand watt uh, four channel amp so should be a lot better because right now I'm sure most of you guys know but Parker just has these on the deck which are garbage and then these little three and a half I believe they are inside the cabin. But really when you're motoring, it's pretty quiet in here, but you still can't hear anything. So um, what I'm gonna do, hopefully, is I'm gonna put one six and a half here by the controls. And I'm actually gonna put another one here in the seat. So we get um, audio across from each other. It's the best I can come up with, but I'm gonna kind of use the, uh, the filming process to help me troubleshoot and figure out where I wanna put this stuff. Obviously there's not a lot of room in these parkers, but we'll figure it out. Stay tuned. All right, you can see why I need to replace these things. These things are garbage. So let's see what they look like. Oh yeah, that's nice. Super nice. All right, well, let's take these things off and fit the new ones. Same thing, these things are just jacked. new ones in so you can see the size difference between the eights and the six and a half that I had in here before um, these things are gonna be way better I'm sure but as you can see it's gonna be a lot of cutting so I'm actually gonna have to kind of use this side of the hole um, so I'll put the template on see what we got there and uh, yeah we'll measure it up quick change these connectors because these are all corroded. Thanks. Now I'll just test the speaker. First one's in. Quite a bit different. Let's get the other one in. All right. So that one's in. That one's in. I like it. Let's test them. All right. The deck speakers are in. Uh, this is kind of what I'm thinking right here. It's going to be tight. But it'll be... I think I can make it work. And the other one, I was thinking, right here. So I just don't know if that's going to look weird having just one. One here, not one over here. I could do both in the seat, but I don't know. I don't know if that'll be good or not. 
try it. I'll play with it and see what happens. All right, this this is the uh, the best I can come up with right there. It'll fit, and luckily, my dad has pretty much every tool known to man, so got this bad boy. And that should cut it right up, and uh, hopefully it fits. If not, I'm cutting a massive hole in my boat for nothing. All right, let's give it a shot. That one's in. Now I'm gonna cut this one right here. They're about in line, so it should look good. We'll see. called another audible I uh, installed those speakers and I just wasn't super thrilled so it's been a little while since I filmed that but you know I got that six and a half there six and a half in the seat and then I had the two eights on the back tech in the cockpit with no amp and it was loud super loud but I, don't, I just don't think my my stock head unit can power those things like they're supposed to be so what I did was boom another set of eights and we already saw this but i'm actually going to install it now thousand watt four channel and what i'm going to do is put the eights back here i'm still waiting for my little boxes to come in but basically right here boom boom and right here i'm going to have these little uh, starboard speaker boxes i'm going to mount them under the gunnel so then i'll have four eights in the cockpit powered by thousand watts which should be perfect and then uh, basically i have the covers down right now because uh i was running some wiring but i'm gonna so you know these these set up like this i'm gonna disconnect those little three inch speakers because they're garbage anyway disconnect those and then i think i'm gonna run these just off of the stock head unit i don't want to don't want to get into the whole running multiple speakers on the same channel and series and parallel and all that garbage because full disclosure audio is not my strong suit and i don't feel like burning the boat down so i think i'm just going to run four channels to the cockpit run these off the stock head unit because i don't need to i don't need to be crazy loud in here anyway and then uh yeah we should be uh we should be bumping so stay tuned let's see how it goes okay we're back at it the audio video it's been a couple days but i got everything i need almost everything i need new speaker wire 14 gauge copper tin marine audio wire i think i already showed you where i'm putting the amp so my goal today is to run the wires to the cockpit speakers so i gotta run them back there through there again where there's like a thousand wires up over the top down to the side and then we're going to wire it to basically here and then I'm going to run another wire back to here because that's where we're going to put our second set on this side so I get those boxes in a couple days so I'm going to wire it up now so that way when they get here I'll be good to go and then we'll be done and then we're going to real quick wire up the amps so it'll be set so literally when those boxes get here I'll hook it up and we'll be good to go so stay tuned let's see Let's 
truth is it gonna come? Come on. There we go. There she is. Got this speaker wired up. I got this run. So now I just gotta run it on there. I severely underestimated the amount of wire I'm gonna need, so I'm gonna have to go buy some more, unfortunately, but so far so good. Okay, now I got the amp wired up with everything I need. So I'm gonna mount it. It's gonna be the hard part. So I'm gonna mount it back here. I got spacers. I don't know how I'm gonna film this part, but I'll mount it, see if I can film it. If not, I will show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, little update. I got it mounted, got the spacers on. Um, I chose to do it this way. That way I'll have access to the tuning if I need to tune anything. Um, but unfortunately, you can see, maybe see, I'm not really gonna access that. So it's in, that's it, that's all I can do. That's why I pre-wired it ahead of time. Um, so yeah, it's in. So now just power it up and we should be good to go. Jumper cable complete. So I have it running to the fuse, kind of looping around. I'm gonna put an anchor there. I'm not gonna hook it up now, but it's gonna go right here. Um, I'm not gonna hook it up till I get the rest of the speakers. And I gotta tighten up some of this slack, run the RCA cables and we'll be done. Getting close. Okay, new parts arrived. Um, what we got is these boxes, speaker boxes, made out of welded starboard. Um, I got it from Custom Plastic Works. I think that's the name. I'll put the link so you guys can check them out. They actually make some pretty cool stuff. But basically, my eights are gonna sit in there like that. So I gotta, I gotta obviously do the screw holes, um, drill a hole for the speaker wire, and then put a mounting bracket on. I'm gonna mount it under the gunnel. So that's what I'm working on today. And once I get that done, the audio install will be done. I'll be glad. I'm over it. Just kidding. It's kind of fun. Anyway, stay tuned, we'll see how it goes. Okay, this is what I got. This is, this is going to be my mounting bracket. It's going to go something like that. And then this is going to sit right up under the gunnel like that. All right up, little update, we got this one in. Uh, looks pretty good. Obviously there's some marks got to take care of. Uh, this is the next one we're going to do. This is the bracket I came up with. So a little piece of angled aluminum. Three bolts through there. Got these drilled, put it there, and we should be good. All right, we're finished with the project. Sounds good. I'm probably not gonna be able to pick it up on here, but I tested it and it is super loud. Hurt my ears actually. So, I'll give you a little show. Got the eight inch here. Eight inch there, eight inch there, eight inch there. So, then I got the six and a halfs in here. Turn this off so I don't get flagged. Six and a half, six and a half. So overall came out pretty good. I have everything networked, so it's all on my MFD. I can change channels, whatever. And yeah, we should be uh, pretty set. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about my setup or the SCAR Audio, let me know. And uh, see you on the next one. Thanks.